apology. Go, Margaret. You know, there'd be Kathleen Lynch. If I were voiceless, then I could ask for no better champion than Jim Smith. And he's in the gallery tonight. And I don't think any of the three of us here tonight are saying that because he is present, because we've said it in private and we said to those who would listen. A man who took on, if you like, a story uh, that has shamed us as a nation. And if anything cries to the heaven for revenge and for to be put right, then the story cries to the heavens. And yet these people don't ask for revenge, nor does he. They simply ask that the terrible wrong that was done to them be recognised and the state stands up and says, we were wrong and we are sorry for what you have suffered. And I don't make the distinction between those who were put in as a direct responsibility of the state and those who were put in by society in all its forms, whether it was the busybody on the street, the social worker, the local priest, whatever. I do not make that distinction. I was sitting down over the weekend and I heard a news story about a woman whose husband worked for a major financial institution and who was kidnapped. And it must be the most awful of things to happen to you. And all of the agencies in the state rose up to find that woman and to bring her safely back to her family. And all I could think of is, why didn't the agencies of the state who were charged with the responsibility in relation to these women not go into these institutions and say, are you here of your own free will? How long are you supposed to be here for? Would you like to leave? None of us did that. Even those who were put in by their families, by society, by whatever, when they did manage to escape, and it was escape, they were captured by the police and returned. They were captured by the police and returned. But those were awful times but not that long ago. And this state is as culpable as the institutions in which these women were held. It's as culpable because the state allowed it to continue. The state allowed it to continue. And I would ask those religious institutions because we are not here seeking revenge. These women are not seeking revenge. Their children are not seeking revenge. What they are seeking is a recognition of who they were and what their lives were and they don't have that because there is a blanket refusal to release records and that needs to happen and i know that within these institutions there are many fine people this cannot go on another generation this must be dealt with and as long as it's not dealt with it will continue we may not be here but someone else will be someone else will be and I'm asking the minister tonight, go back to cabinet minister. Tell the people who sit around that table, this can go on no longer. We have dealt with one awful segment of our history. And this is an outstanding part of our history that we need to deal with. We either deal with it now or we will deal with it in the future. But one way or another, we will deal with it. And I'm asking you, stand up and on behalf of the state, say we are sorry. It shouldn't have happened, and we shouldn't have allowed it to continue. And after that, we will deal with everything else. Thank you.